Now, when we build our Spring application, we need to manage dependencies. We need to import the jars that are required for the Spring application to work. And typically what you do when you handle dependencies in Java is you get the jars and you add it to the class path, right? You put the jars in the class path and the app has it available. All those classes in those jars are available to your application. We are not gonna be doing this. We're gonna be using a tool called Maven. If you've been working in Java, you should know what Maven is. It's kind of ubiquitous at this point of time, but I'll just give a quick introduction. Maven lets you declare all the dependencies that you want in a single file. You don't have to download the jars and add it to your class path. You mention what the jars you need are into this file, which is called pom.xml. This file contains a list of all your dependencies that Maven needs to know, right? Maven is your dependency management tool. Then you run a Maven command and Maven is gonna look at your dependencies and say, okay, these are all the things that this app needs to run. And it goes to this repository, which has all the list of all the dependencies that you would ever need. And it's gonna say, hey, I need all these you know, jars added to the class path. And the repository is gonna give this huge list of jars that it needs based on whatever you've declared it. It's gonna get downloaded to the class path, right? This is what Maven does. Maven is a build and dependency management tool. And this is what we're gonna be using for this course. So when we need to add dependencies, we are not gonna go download the jars and add it to the class path. What we're gonna be doing is creating this file called pom.xml and we're gonna add the list of dependencies there and run a Maven command. What Maven also lets you do is create the starter project so that you don't have to create all these individual files yourself. It comes with this archetype, which is what it's called. It's a simple template which lets you start a simple project. And that's where we're gonna be starting, right? We're gonna create a simple Maven project and it's gonna give you a pom.xml. You're gonna list out all your dependencies in that pom.xml and run a Maven command and Maven's gonna go download the jars for you.